We're in. Oh, I see stuff in there. Look at that. Look at that. We'll open that. Up. Oh, there's Whoa, one. Oh my dude. God, are those hundreds? Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Abandoned Exploration Squad, and yes, today we're breaking into an abandoned safe. But before we get into this, I actually have a really interesting story on where this safe came from. So guys, this is my dad. Say hi, dad. What's up? And I say this all the time, but if you didn't know, he's a demolition contractor. So that's how we're able to get into abandoned buildings and salvage things like abandoned safes. Anyways, we found this safe on one of his job sites. He was actually demolishing an abandoned mansion that belonged to a murderer. And while he was in the process of wrecking it, this safe was found in one of the walls. We were in the middle of demolishing the building, smashing all the building down into the basement. And out came this safe rolling down from one of the walls. We think it was built inside the wall and hidden where we couldn't see it till we wrecked the building. Some of my OG fans might remember the video I made on this mansion. It was about two years ago, but this place was insane. It had like 30 plus rooms. And if you didn't get a chance to see it, I'm going to play some clips really quick so you guys can get an idea of what it was like. So yeah, that's the mansion guys, that's where we found the safe at, and it's now demolished so you're never going to see another video of that place. But anyways, I'm going to let myself from two years ago explain the story on the abandoned murderer's mansion, why it was demolished, and what really happened here. Take it away, me. I'm going to share a little story with you. This is all stuff I've heard, I'm not sure if it's, if it's exactly true, 100%, but this is just what I know. Okay, so, probably about five years ago, there was a couple that lived in this house, and they had one kid. And they were running into a lot of financial issues. They couldn't really afford to keep this mansion, so they, were, they had to sell a lot of their possessions. But they still didn't have enough money to keep this. And what happened actually was the husband ended up murdering his wife and his child in this house. I have no idea what room, and I really don't know what happened. I think they were both shot, but the husband fled. And this house has just been sitting here vacant ever since. They tried to sell it, but they couldn't. No one wanted to buy it. It was priced at almost two million dollars, or it was probably two million with taxes, but this place has just been sitting here vacant. It's not even that bad. Like, it's kept up pretty well. They've tried to sell it. Yeah, it's pretty crazy what happened there, but that just makes it more exciting to break into the safe and see what's inside. Let's take a guess on what we think's in there. What do you think? Probably just documents. Documents? Or nothing. All right, I'm gonna say maybe a gun. It was hidden inside the wall, so. There really could be anything in there, but you guys take a guess too, leave a comment down below. We're about to get started here, but first, I want to make a deal, guys. The deal is, whatever we find inside this safe, we're going to split 50-50. So, 50% goes to me and my dad, and the other 50 will go to you guys. There could be nothing inside there, and then we're both out of luck. But if there's something in there, then we're both going to win. And if you want to enter the giveaway, all you got to do is make sure you're subscribed, leave a like on the video, turn on post notifications, leave a comment down below saying I'm in, and lastly, go follow our Instagram page, link in the description, that's where we're going to do the giveaway at. And that's it guys, let's get started. Hey guys, this is how we're going to get into the safe. We're going to take this cutoff saw here, cut out the back steel part of it, 
cut the whole back steel part, knock the concrete fireproofing out of the back, and then take the grinder, cut a small slit to get the saws on there so we don't do any sparks or fire for any paper money that might be in there or important documents or something. So this will be the last saw we use to cut through the steel backing on the inside. First, we're going to get the safe turned around so we can work on it right here.
We're in. Oh, I see stuff in there. Look at that. Look at that. Nice. I see it. Ready? Pull it off. Ooh. Oh my God. Looks like we got a pocket Chains. watch. I see a knife. Oh my God, watch it. Ooh. Check that out, guys. There's a few things in there. Oh, that's cool. Dude, check that out. Is that like a it's awesome. Japanese knife thing? Oh, what's that? Got some ammunition. Some bullets, all right. No gun, it looks like, but we got some ammo. I don't know, maybe there's a gun in here. Let's see. So like a that must jewelry be box. The other is chains and grab that. Is that gold? Yo, let me see that. I if you guys can see that. Let's try to read that. Some yeah, this looks like it's gold. Pocket watch. All right, we'll check that later. We got more, more stuff in here. Key. Oh, that's cool. Check that out, guys. It's like an old key. I'm not sure to what, though. How's this thing open, you know? Push the top in, I think. Here you open it. Alright, we'll check that later. Oh, I got it. Or kinda. It broke. It's really old. Wow. Jeez. Kind of falling apart. This huh? is insane. Alright, what else is there? Documents. Ooh. No, wait. What's it say? Emergency money? Does it feel like there's money in there? Something in there. We'll open that up. Oh! There's Whoa, money. Oh dude. my god, are those hundreds? Holy shit. Oh, no. No way. Are those all hundreds? Are you kidding me? Old hundreds. What the hell? There's, got, there's over a thousand right there. Oh wait, guys, this is unbelievable. 2200 $2, bills. Holy shit, that's the most awesome, we've ever dude. found. Hell yeah. Jackpot. What else? All right, yeah, let's keep looking, guys. See a few little things. This is just like a clasp or something. Is that uh, for jewelry? Here, scrape that stuff around. All right, well, we got all the exciting stuff. Another little jewelry piece. Got all the big stuff. All right, guys, we're gonna take a closer look at this stuff now that we've calmed down and got our excitement out. So let's start with this box of ammo right here. What's that for a nine millimeter? Something's missing. 13 bullets missing. And that's pretty interesting because this house belongs to a murderer. I'm not sure what the weapon he used was. Obviously a nine millimeter. <laughs> Could be. That we never knows? found. Yeah, that adds to the story. All right. And let's take a look at this knife right there. That's pretty cool. That's very ornate. I'm not sure what you'd call that, like a dagger or... Yeah, that's what I would think. Kind of looks more for decoration, if anything. It's got some, like, Japanese writing. If any know, anyone knows what that says, comment down below, but... It's pretty cool, though. Could be a silver casing. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. It's, like, really fancy. All right, let's take a look at the... That chain right there. I'm not sure if that's gold. I didn't get a chance to get it the sunlight. look at it. Check on the clasp right there. Oh yeah, it says something. Can you read that? No, I can't read it. All right, can you guys see that? That looks like... It says 14K, that's gold. No. No shit, does it? Yeah, right there, and it says Italy. Nice. It's hard to read, but I could barely make that out. All right. It's pretty heavy too, feel that. Yeah, it's it's definitely got some weight. Thick chains. Right, so we got money, jewelry, we got everything. We got weapons. We got this old key too, which is pretty it's interesting. A weird looking key. And I collect keys too, so that's cool to find for me. I know you guys might not, not think a, that's... not a skeleton key, but something similar. Yeah. I wonder what that would have went to. This interests me, this pocket watch. Oh yeah, that's really old. Pretty beat up. Probably won't work anymore. Yeah. Still a cool antique though. Totally. And the case is really Yeah, the case is probably where the money is. Yeah. Could be silver too. And we got these two little pieces. I'm not sure if these are silver or not. This one might be. We're gonna put those aside. But there's no writing on those. We got the jewelry box, which is super old and ornate. Check that out. It's got what is that? It's like a lion's face. Uh, oh, I thought it looked like a guy kinda. 
But that is super cool. Yeah, it's like a lion's face kind of in it. Yeah. Part of it's missing. But that's probably where the jewelry was, obviously. And then uh, when you wrecked the building and the safe fell, it probably spilled everywhere. Right. And of course, the money. Over two grand in pure cash. That is insane. The best find, the jackpot. 1100 for us and 1100 for the subscribers, right? No, 2200 for me and a open box of target ammunition for the subscribers. I don't think we can send those. No? No, we'd probably get in trouble for that. So we'll have to do some part of this as a giveaway. All right. What about these? Earplugs? earplugs. We didn't find those, Used though. earplugs? Uh, I'll sign them. The key's pretty cool. I'm going to keep that for myself, though. All right. The gold chain? Uh, hmm. This is hard. All right, guys. I want you to comment down below what we should give away because, honestly, this is hard. I really didn't expect to find anything because... Usually we don't, but we got a ton of cool stuff here, so comment down below what we should give away. Money, uh, we probably can't give away the ammunition. Probably not the knife either. I'm not sure the rules on sending out weapons. The chain, the pocket watch, the jewelry box. I don't know, guys. There's a ton of cool stuff here. So that's going to be a wrap, guys. And honestly, I still can't believe we found all this. And even if we found nothing, it would have still been a good time because we do this more for the thrill of the hunt than trying to strike a rich. That's also why we don't mind giving back as much because we do this more for fun than trying to make money off of it. Before I go, huge shout out to my dad and grandpa for making this possible. And if you guys want to see more abandoned safe videos, make sure you like and subscribe. That's about it guys. We'll see you in the next one. Squad out.